Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking a look at the luggage and travel set from Our Generation. It looks really adorable and some of the pieces look really great and I can't wait to take a look at it. Though, I am going to be packing for Julie at the end of the video so make sure to stay tuned for that because it's going to be really fun. So now let's take a look at the back of the box before we get the set open. Here is what the back of the box looks like and it has a picture of an Our Generation doll using the set. It looks like it's really good sizing for 18 inch dolls and the accessories look really cute. So let's open it up. Here are some of the smaller pieces that come in the set. So we have a nail brush, a jar of cuticle cream, and also a tool, and last but not least, some nail clippers. Here are three more smaller pieces. We have a comb, a toothbrush, and a toothpaste, and the toothpaste says sparkling toothpaste, and it's pink and white, and the lid is black. When boarding a plane, you definitely need these three pieces if you're traveling overseas. So there's a boarding pass, a boarding ticket, and also a passport, and here's what the passport looks like. On the inside, there's a photo of an Our Generation doll and just some information about her. Of course, when traveling, you definitely need a camera so you can capture all of your memories, but these days, a lot of people end up doing it on their iPads and phones anyway. It's really nice because it has a light pink string on the top so you can hang it around your doll's neck so you don't lose it. This is a digital music player or pretty much an iPod. It has really fun buttons all along here that doesn't work. It's pink and white and what I really like is you can remove the headphones from the iPod and it's definitely good if you just want to bring the headphones without the iPod. The next item is a sleeping mask. It's green and it has purpley pink polka dots on it and there's elastic on the back so it stays around your doll's head. This definitely has my most favorite set and it is a neck pillow. It has the same design as the sleeping mask that I showed before, but I love using neck pillows when traveling and I know my doll will too. These two pieces are a small and large carry-on, so when you're going on an airplane or a train, you can have these carry-on pieces with you and putting the suitcase underneath so you don't have to carry that around as well. So the smaller one has the exact same design as the large one except for the sizing. There's a handle on the top and there's a really nice green bow on the front and there's a zipper to open and close it. The last item that comes inside of the set is the suitcase and it has a really nice polka dot design. It's like light pink and dark pink. There's a green ribbon on the top and you use a zipper to open and close it. And on the inside it actually has quite a large amount of storage space and there's a handle up top so your doll can carry it around. The only thing is the new Our Generation set has wheels so you can wheel it around but this one's just one that you can pick up and just place down. It's still a really, really cool set though. Now that I've showed you guys all of the travel pieces, I can now pack for Julie. So I have all of her clothing pieces here, so let's get started. So I think I'm the first item that I'll be taking is this dress as her fancy dress. It's so cute and adorable. It's really easy to pack as well because it's really lightweight. The next item I'll be taking is this one. It's really pretty and I love the pink pants it goes with. Next, I'll be taking this outfit. It's really pretty and it's really casual and it's perfect for a day out of shopping. Those are the three outfits that I'll be taking for Julie, so let's pack extra items like pants and PJs. While we're here, let me just grab her fancy shoes. So they are these white boots and they go with the dress really nicely. Now let me grab the other items. So here is the first drawer. I'll be grabbing the PJs from these because obviously she needs some PJs and I won't be taking anything else because I already have her fancy dress and it's quite cold to take her swimmers and I don't think she wants to go swimming on this trip. And as for the second drawer, I need to grab the shorts and some pants. Here's the first shorts that I'll be taking and let me grab the second item and those are the pants. Here we go, they're really really cute and perfect for traveling. This area is her shoe cabinet, so the first pair of shoes I'll be taking are these. They go really well with that outfit with the pink pants, and they're definitely very adorable. The next pair of shoes that I'll be grabbing are these, because they're really casual and they're perfect for a day out of shopping or just something casual, and they're really pretty too. Last but not least, I'll be taking these rollerblades or roller skates, just because in case if she wants to do some rollerblading, she can. Some extra items that I'll be taking besides clothing are her lunchbox and that's because in case she gets hungry on the trip or once she gets to the hotel room, she has something to eat. And also her sunglasses in case it gets really sunny. 
So Julie can carry around her necessities when shopping. I'm going to be taking this tie-dye bag. It's really cute and suits her really nicely. I just grabbed Julie's nightstand just so I can grab her headbands and belt. I know she doesn't need anything from the top cupboard because that's just regular headbands and she's not bringing any of those outfits. As for the middle one though, she needs this, a part of her patchwork outfit. She doesn't have to wear it, but it's good to bring it just in case. So I move that out of the way and push this down. And as for the third cupboard, she'll be taking both of these belts because she's bringing both of the outfits. Now it's time to pack all of Julie's items. So firstly, we have her accessories bag. So I'm just gonna be putting some small pieces that she can carry around. Firstly, we have her sunglasses. We can put that in. Next, we have the camera that came in the Our Generation set. And let's wrap that up and put that in. And last but not least, we have her iPod. The next item that I'll be packing is the small carry-on case and I'll be using this as a toiletry bag just because it's nice and small. So the first item that I'll be packing is the toothbrush. Next I have the comb. I also have some toothpaste for Julie. And last but not least, I'll be packing some nail clippers. So now I just need to zip it up and that will be all good to go. This is the larger carry-on bag, so I'll be putting belts and headbands in here. So the first item that I have is this headband, and I just need to fold it really small so it fits in nicely. There we go. There's also this belt here. This belt will also go in this bag. And last but not least, I thought I'd just pack this sleeping mask in here and she can grab it if she needs it, but I just had nowhere else to store it and it goes in really nicely here too. So let's close it up. And we can zip it. And now it all goes in nicely and I really like how small this is as well. Now it's time to pack Julie's clothes and I'll just be putting it in the suitcase that the set came with and hopefully everything fits in nicely. So we have these shorts. Just try to make everything as flat as possible and everything should fit in nicely. Then we have this dress. This dress is really flat so that would be good too. Then we have this shirt here and this should only take up half of it. And then we can put the PJ pants. That will take up the other side. We have these pants here. Those go in nicely. And then this shirt. And to finish it off, we have her PJ shirt. So let's just put everything in. And everything should hopefully fit nicely. There we go. I'm really happy everything fits in here. None of the shoes fit, obviously, but that's definitely a really good size. And I put quite a few pieces of clothing in here, so I'm really happy with that. These items are Julie's pieces that she'll be taking, but she doesn't need to put in a bag because either she'll be carrying them around or she can put it around the suitcase and things like that. So we have her lunchbox. And the reason why I'm taking that is if we arrive at the hotel and she wants a snack, but it's not time to go out yet, she can have that. Or if she's hungry in the car as well. Then we have her neck pillow. Obviously that doesn't need to go in the bag because she can just wear that around her neck when traveling. We have her mini doll and she can cuddle with that along with her two stuffed monkeys. Since we are traveling by car and we don't need to worry about luggage requirements and how many bags you can bring on, I decided to bring this extra bag for Julie for games and activities she can have while playing in the hotel room. The first item that I'll be packing for her is this little mini Monopoly. She can play it with her mini doll if she wants. We can just push that all the way down. Next we have a little yo-yo for her. Here is a book and it's Happy New Year, Julie, and it's the 25th anniversary book, and that was from the mini doll, so we can push that down as well. 
We have a little notepad or a writing book she can write in in case if she wants to do homework or she wants to write her experiences. She can use it as a journal. It's completely up to her. She has this really cool game. She has a pen which opens up and also a pencil. And last but not least, she has a deck of cards from American Girl. And then we can just close this bag up and everything does fit in really nicely here and it's actually quite heavy so she should be entertained for the whole trip. A lot of her shoes like the boots and things like that are quite large so I'll just be putting them in my suitcase as I don't have any more luggage space for her but here are all the items that she'll be taking. She'll be staying for a while, I'm not too sure how many days but it will definitely be a fun trip and she's definitely all prepared. She has definitely a lot of bags that she'll be taking. So overall, this was such a fun video to make. I definitely recommend the Our Generation travel set. It's very cute. It comes with some really adorable pieces and it definitely helped Julie be packed and ready to go on her trip. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it.